All right, so here I have a box. We're pushing a box along a level, smooth surface. So it's a horizontal surface that has no friction for a total distance of 20 meters. And then here it says for the first eight meters, your force grows steadily from zero to 60. Um, and then later on, it's gonna decrease steadily as well. So I, what I'm gonna do here to help us visualize this is I'm gonna draw a little um, force as a function of, um, as a function of position so we can show this force changing. And it's a variable force, so I need you to remember that the work done by a variable force um, is the work done by a variable force is the average force delta x cosine of theta, or it's the area of the fx graph. So by graphing fx, I can simply find the area of that graph to find the total work that your force does. So the first eight meters, um, the total thing here is 20, so let's make this a 20. Right down the middle, this is a 10. So for the first eight meters, that's let's say that's an eight right there, um, you're going to grow steadily from zero to 60. So let's say that's a 60 right there, 60 newtons, zero to 60. And for the last 12 meters, here's the last 12 meters, it's going to decrease slowly, steadily, in other words, in a straight line, from 60 to zero. So it looks kind of like that. Okay, what is the total work that you do, obviously from beginning to end? So the work done by you, you're pushing, so it's the work done by this F over here that we're describing. And I can do this by finding the area under the graph. Now in this case, because I have two little triangles, two different areas, I'm just gonna do A1 plus A2. This is A1, and this is A2 right here. Now, before I start calculating this, just to be clear, even though this one is going up and this one's going down, they're both positive areas because they are above the x-axis. Negative areas, areas below the x-axis would be, um, or, or, or areas below the negative x-axis would count as negative areas, right? Um, but that's not the case here. So if I were to find this, work would be, uh, remember the area of a triangle is half bh. So here it's half, the base is eight and the height 60, plus half for the second part, the base is 12 and the height is 60. And when you do all this, you get 600 joules. That's the amount of work that we did here. All right, let's go into the next one.